Alright you guys, major update, I just redid the transom of the boat, my nephew has two new engines, if you saw my last video with the, when we did the a snake lure fishing, we were on his boat, he has a 14 foot skiff and a 15 horsepower Evan Rude, and he recently purchased a 15 horsepower Yamaha. The Yamaha, he says it's in great shape. It was used as a kicker motor, but it was um, it was rarely used, and he said it looks brand new. So we're looking forward to using that or the Evan Rood. So that's that. So I reinforced the the transom. I put here one inch pine, and on the back. one inch pine as well and this is running all across the back of the, the transom just to kind of get just to try to get the you know the transom as reinforced as possible without putting any stress on the on the center of the, of the transom The wood could have been a little thicker, but that's all I was able to find in in Home Depot. And you see, I added a little narrow stretch, narrow strip of wood here. It's I would say it's a little less than half inch, and that's the gap I had. So I had to move these um little corner brackets. That's why you see these these two holes here that I covered up, and I had to make new holes. The handles. I forgot to install the handles when I put these bolts, which I could have put the handle here and then made another hole here, but instead I made it here, so I didn't want to make a new hole just to put the handle there. So I put it up here, and they came out. I think they came out pretty good there, and more convenient in case you have to tie off. It's easier because before I would have to reach around the back. I wanted to tie off somewhere. So that's the update you guys, I put this nice little piece of billet, eventually I would, I would like to change all the hardware for aircraft aluminum bolts and nuts, including washers, I have a little bit of stainless, most of it is just machine screws, these here are stainless, this one. I've got little stainless screws in here. Um, that's about it. Other than that, I just touched up the, the boat a little bit, painted the, the rod holders. And I put this handle back on. I had removed it. So just put it back on. And where the trolling motor goes, painted that piece of wood there and secured it a little better. So hopefully there's no vibrations in the boat, everything should be solid. It's the new floor I put uh, probably about a year ago. I just added a new strip right there, you can see the color difference. It's still holding up pretty good. It kind of shrunk. I had, a, I had a little piece here because there was a gap all of a sudden. I guess from the sun being on it, it kind of shrunk it. But that's it, you guys. I'm really excited. We'll be running a, a 15. The white transom, actually, uh, you know, I'll let you in on a little secret. We might even try to run dual, <laughs> dual 15s on this thing uh, with two people and maybe try to do a solar run. But that... You know, first we're gonna run the 15 and see how it goes, but you can see I left some room here to put two motors, one here and one here, but 
I'm noticing now these little screws might be uh, might get in the way a little bit. But we'll see. I'm going to have to do something about that. Or maybe it won't interfere much. Or um, I put double nuts. If anything, I'll just... I'll just remove the and hacksaw the. I'll probably hacksaw the bolt off and cut them to right there. This is this is just to secure this piece that overlaps onto this, and, and without it, this will kind of, it's kind of flimsy. So it secures this to this right here. So you can see the gap right here. All the specs. Check that. Max capacity two, two people, 280 pounds, and a three horsepower. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be surpassing that by five times, you guys, with the 15. I ran on 9.9 .9 on this boat a few years back, and it was a buddy of mine. We eventually moved, so, and, and this was before I was doing YouTube, but man. Um, I don't know how fast I was going. I was probably going close to 30 miles an hour with a 9.9. .9. Probably somewhere around there, for maybe 28 to 30 miles an hour. And with the 15, with three of us on my nephew's 14 foot skiff, which is a Vijo, we were doing 16. So, I'm estimating that we're going to be going you know, pretty good. Probably 30 plus with uh, the 15. Okay, that's the update, you guys. Uh, I'm not going to put a uh, 15 horsepower and 10 foot John boat in the title or anything because I, I kind of want to make it a surprise for you too, but since you guys are my subscribers, I want to let you guys in on, on what's going on. Take one last look at the transom in the back. It says just one inch pine from Home Depot. I gave it three coats of our uh, rustoleum green. Yeah, here I put some a little bit of silicone just so water doesn't go in and um, get in between the the wood here. That's why I put some JB wood here, and on top of that, I put some a bead of a uh, like some type of silicone. I think I have it here. Let's see. What is this stuff? What is that? E6000 clear, transparent, flexible. That's from Home Depot. I was going to get the goop I usually use, but this stuff is pretty good. It was a little more, um, a little more liquidy, I would say, but and I glued this on and I added a couple screws, but there's a um, but I forgot the name of it. It's contact cement just to keep this plate from vibrating. And this one also, there's no screws in this one, which I actually may do. I almost forgot. I'll probably will do, uh, I might just put uh, maybe one or two screws or two or four, two to four screws. We'll see. But this is on um, contact cement. All right, you guys. I wanted to keep this short. That's it. Oh, I wanted to uh, mention my first video was a John boat video. Was this John boat when I did my trolling motor conversion from stern mount to bow mount? But that was my first video. So this John boat's gone. You know, I've always enjoyed doing um, you know, updates and work on the boat. Since this was actually what got me into YouTube. So. Alright you guys, so wish me luck. Can't wait to run the, the 15. We'll probably run the, the two of us on there first and then we'll do a, some some speed run, some full speed um, test runs with just one person and make sure I get some footage for you guys. Alright, Paw Pro out. See you guys.